Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Yeah, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna go eat at a uh, chain in Las Vegas. It's called Nacho Daddy. There's three other locations. And we're gonna eat at the Summerlin location, so we're gonna take you with us. See you inside. Come Let's get lost in some nachos with us. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're about to go out on another adventure, so make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, because when we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to jump off the strat. So let's go. Nacho Daddy started in 2010 in Las Vegas, and it's a locally owned, they consider themselves a modern Mexican restaurant. According to Best of Las Vegas, they actually have one of the best margaritas called Daddy's Margaritas. Or if you're feeling brave, they have a Get Stung Challenge, which is a scorpion shot, which, if we get to 400 subscribers, might be something we think about. There's no door for me to open here, but... All right, guys, so now that we are in the restaurant, let's take a little bit of a look around. guys so our app just came out and we got the triple dip so it is guacamole salsa and queso so I'm gonna dig into the guac first that's really tasty actually it's fresh freshly made nice and chunky I really like this guac it's actually really good all right next up I'm gonna dip into the queso all right next up I got the queso I love me some good queso, and I'm not gonna lie, like this just like hits some spot because I really wanted something nice and cheesy today. And then um, we got the medium salsa. Mm. Not too spicy, a little bit of kick in the back of your throat, but it's fresh made. It just like feels like it's uh, fire roasted, and uh, yeah, I I love all, everything. Let's do the Gary things. All right, so I'm gonna give a try for the triple dip. I'm gonna go queso first, because that's my favorite. I think you're gonna like it. It's nice and silky smooth. You get a nice little kick of that jalapeno in there. That's a good queso. All right, let's give it a try for the uh, guacamole. Avocados are fresh. You get, definitely get a really hard hint of the garlic in there. Uh, and then a little bit of cilantro at the end. And the uh, tomato gives like a nice little cool come on to it. Overall, really, really good. Uh, last thing to try is the salsa. It definitely looks a little dark. So we got a medium. It is a little spicy, so if you are sensitive to spice, you might just want to get the mild. Uh, but it's a really good salsa. Fresh tomatoes. You can definitely taste that cilantro again and the onions. Really, really good. So overall, good so far. We will come and get you when we get our main courses. Alright guys, 
guys, here's my first bite of my pork carnitas, chimichanga. So I mostly got the beans on that bite, so I'm gonna take a bite of the, the rice and the carnitas. With a little bit of the guac and some of the sauce. It's really good, really flavorful. It's a huge, huge chimichanga. And um, I have to say, I really like it. And uh, I highly suggest that you get this if you can. Let's see what Gary thinks about his fajitas. Alright, so I got the fajitas. The I got the um, mixtures. Uh, so it's flour and corn tortilla. It's a little bit thicker. It's kind of like a almost like a pita. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm interested in that. But they are super hot and super greasy, so they must have just been refried. We tried to catch them setting it on fire at the table, but the fire didn't last very long. So we kind of got what we got, but just need to see it. Alright, let's give it a try. The steak is really good, the filet mignon, the chicken. It's nicely grilled, it's moist, it's got good seasoning. The guac is as good as the guac that we got to the table for the chips, so it's really good too. The sour cream kind of cools it down, the refried beans give it a nice little kick. I like the fajitas, they're definitely good. Um, I don't know if they're Juan's flaming fajitas for the best in Vegas, but they are really good fajitas, and they're definitely worth the taste if you come here. So we're gonna finish our meal, and then we'll come get you when we get outside. Alright guys, uh, that's going to wrap up this meal. It was actually really fantastic. Yeah, uh, we definitely dig Nacho Daddy. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's pretty large portions. My chimichanga was huge, definitely shareable. Uh, the fajitas, I don't think are shareable. We did one time, we tried to share it and it just, there just wasn't enough for two. Yeah. Uh, but the, the triple dip, I really love the guac, I really love the queso, and the salsa was really good too. Yeah, overall, good meal. We didn't actually get nachos this time. Uh, we got the chips and dip instead. It's a good alternative if you don't want to do nachos and you're going to do meal. It, it's a pretty good uh, s switch, I guess. Yeah, and we uh, we brought home some leftovers, so. Yeah, it ended up being about $76. So mm -hmm. not super expensive, not super cheap. My only big complaint is sometimes the uh, nacho chips, because they're house made, are a little bit oversalted. Uh, but that's just a minor thing, nothing major. Yeah, and uh, honestly, I have to say overall, the service is great. Um, the atmosphere, I love the atmosphere in there because they do play music videos and uh, the, the vibe is just really nice in there. And legit tip, they do have a scorpion shot that we might be coming back someday to try. Yeah. Which is basically just a scorpion and tequila. Yeah, uh, I'm terrified, but we're willing to do it once we... Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below. Have you ever done a scorpion shot at Nacho Daddy or anywhere else? Yeah, and uh, let us know if you guys have ever ate at Nacho Daddy and if you had what you guys like to eat and uh, we'll come back and try it for sure. Yeah, so don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and, and ring, ring that, that notification, notification bell. Because again, once we get to a thousand subscribers, we're going to be jumping off the strat. Yeah, so really excited to do that and it's all thanks to your help. So yeah, so we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye everybody.